Hey guys, I'm Turbo, and today I'm reviewing the Traxxas e Revo 116th VXL. So we're going to look underneath. The previous owner of it, this is a used vehicle by the way, so it has some upgrades on it. And the body was converted from um, pins to Velcro. Oh, um, excuse me. I'm just going to hold that. Please don't mind, that. that's the servo. It has a stock, it still has a stock tracks server in it, which is pretty good for now until, you know, it probably breaks. <sighs> please, please don't mind the jankiness of me re trying to recharge my controller battery. My controller doesn't take double A's and the previous owner didn't give me a charger for this goddamn battery. And apparently plugging it into the receiver actually works, which is really weird. <clears throat> so let's talk about the car. Um... It has a Traxxas Millennium 3M system that can run 3S, but I run it on I run it on these two SPC 2S lipos. I run them in parallel, so it's been running. This car has been running pretty good so far. The only the only problem I've had with it was one of the rear diffs stripped, so I replaced that. And let's 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 talk about the, some of the specs of this car. So running this car's top speed is around 40 to 50 miles an hour. And I don't know why I can't get that door closed, so I'll just leave it open. So, like I just said, this car has a top speed of around 40 to 50 miles an hour. It has it has the same setup as the 110 scale E Revo with the inboard suspension and push rods. It runs the micro talon tires as stock, and it runs a slipper clutch instead of a direct drive on normal E Revo. And Another difference between this and the big e Revo is the receiver box and the ESC are on different sides. And overall, this car is very durable. It goes pretty fast, and it makes a lot of noise going off-road, but it's small, so I don't really blame it for that. But this thing gets, when you tighten up that slipper clutch, this thing can get plenty of speed and go. It, it's a very powerful car for how small it is. And I picked this up off the guy for $200, but brand new, you could pick up one of these for $270 off the Traxxas website or your local hobby shop. So, I'm going to talk about some of the upgrades that this thing has. It's got upgraded shocks and suspension. It's got aluminum push rods in the front and aluminum tow links. It still has plastic ones in the back. It's got all RPM arms. It's got RPM, it's got RPM bearing carriers in there. It still socks stock servo excuse me and this car was actually brushed before but it was upgraded to vxl i know it's brushed because in this parts bin look right it's right here this is a brushed motor mount for the titan 12t motor but it's been converted to brushless so and in the body it says vxl so i mean we'll just call it a vxl but yeah overall this is a this is a very good car and it's pretty durable only gripe I have about it is the diffs. Um, they can get, they can strip pretty easily, like mine stripped pretty easily. So what you gotta do is just shim your diff if it breaks. And like if your diff feels loose in there when you're trying to, like you know, wants to wobble around a little bit, that means you gotta shim. Yeah, you, I can't, I can't, I can't just talk normally. When your diff's wobbling around in there, that means you have to shim it. So you can use a little tiny shims from Team Associated. I don't remember the part number, so you're going to have to look that up. And yeah, I'm running plastic drive shafts underneath and the bottom as well. This is the bottom of the car, just if you wanted to see. And I also have, I also have some smaller HPI, HPI Racing Truck Super Radials. These were off the previous owner as well, but they're kind of old and slippery, so I used the uh, used the stock tires because he didn't use them much. And this, and those bead locks on those tires are too heavy, and this thing just wants to scamper around on these tires. So yeah, that's my review on the one sixteenth mini E Revo. Thank you. And um, if you want if you want a somewhat cheap but fast car that also has four wheel drive. I recommend this thing. Thank you for watching, and this was Turbo. Surprisingly, I already made a video on the channel. Electric, your reign is over.